Hello, my name is Loretta and I have an addiction to thrift shopping. I go thrift shopping pretty much every week. It's part of my routine. I like to do my hot girl walk, walk around town, hit all the thrift stores, see what I can find. And I've been doing these hauls on Instagram for a while and some people seem to really like them, but also half people are like, girl, what the hell shows your ass? <laughs> anyways, I thought it might be a better idea to post them on YouTube. So anyways, the plan is, since I go thrifting every week, I don't always find things. You never know. Sometimes you have good days. Sometimes you literally find absolutely nothing. So I thought it might be a good format to like, um, just maybe do like monthly hauls. So like everything I got in January, everything I got in February, blah, 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 blah. It's like close to the end of January, so I'm probably going to put this in with the February shit. But yeah, anyways, today we're at the point where like our living room is like looking pretty good. We just hung stuff up on the wall finally back there. I'm looking mostly for like linens for bedding. It's so hard to find vintage fitted sheets that are like a queen size. I think people just like jizzed and like squirted all over their bitted sheets back in the day and then probably threw it out, which is valid. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and they also just like slept in double beds back then. So it's hard to find queen size shit. Looking for that. What the fuck else am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for brutalist art. Like you see like this shit in the 60s, 70s. They made a lot of like this like torched copper art and these are flowers which is cute but like i'm not a huge like floral bitch i don't like my house to look too feminine but they make really cool other ones so i'm manifesting that i'm gonna find some soon and then yeah honestly i have no idea what the fuck else i look for oh i'm looking for pots i recently got oh uh, can you see it boom sorry <laughs> i recently Got like this ceramic pot back here. It's really hard to find those. So mostly I look for like mid-century, um, 60s, 70s home decor because that's, our house is very like Don Draper vibes. Any hoozy, um, yeah, I'm gonna head out. Also, sorry about my, uh, I look so haggard. I look like shit if I'm not in lingerie or like for work or going out. Also I have a huge pimple. Also, I really need to wax my mustache. Hey, Hoozy, time to go. Okay, the first place was great. I lucked the fuck out. I got a full sheet set, two pillowcases, bottom sheet, top sheet. Um, I also got a wall hanging and then like a jug thing for making my man's coffee. The sheets, I like looked at the tag. I'm like, I need to do research because they seem like they look kind of new. But they also look kind of old, but then they might just be in really good condition. But anyways, I'm going to show you everything when I get home later. But um, yes, stop two. You know where it is, bitch. We're at Value Village now. But look at this. This is like original freaking wallpaper. I feel like this has got to be from like the early 70s. It's only $5 each. It used to be only $1.99. Bruh, can you imagine? See, this is the kind of brutalist art I'm looking for, but like not in a boat, but this kind of material and something you can hang on the wall. I'm having a hard time deciding what to get. I don't know exactly what the hell this is, but I'm like, I could put a plant in and we look cute, but it's $10. And I'm like, is that really worth $10? These are cute and they match some vases that I have. But I don't know that I love them. It's only four dollars. There's black shit all over my hands, and I don't know what that's from. Also, the wallpaper, like, it's so cool. But five dollars each seems a little bit pricey. But I could resell it on marketplace. I don't know. I gotta make decisions, man. These are like twin top sheets and pillowcases that are really freaking cute, but. I'm not sleeping in a twin bed. I'm like tempted to like get just the pillowcases, but it's like $4. So it's like, I don't know, man. So you just get like thrift brain when you're like $4, what the hell? When realistically you're like, girl, can't even get a pillowcase for $4 on Amazon. I don't know. Oh, there's 
These are my bags of shit. Normally I would call for a ride, but I've only gotten 4,000 steps in, so this bag is really heavy. Anyways, I ordered samosas. Just waiting for those. And then I gotta walk home. With all this shit, you guys got so much good stuff. I'm so excited to show you. <laughs> I'm back later this evening. It's haul time, baby. First stop I went to was Hope for Children. The first thing I saw when I went in there, which I feel like just talking about what I wanted at the beginning of this video, I was like unconsciously manifesting things. Because the first thing that I found is a full fucking sheet set, my bro. So I need to look up this brand and do some research but it looks very 70s but then i'm like does this also have ikea vibes i don't know so i got two pillowcases pillowcases were a dollar each in my guest room slash cam room i'm kind of going for a 1970s vibe which honestly i hate i've gone like way too far into like the kitschy side of the 70s and i just kind of prefer more modern -y things so i'm scrapping it and i'm starting over but anyways i like these sheets Top sheet, but I was also like, is this a motherfucking? I could use this as a shower curtain or like a curtain. The not really my vibe for a curtain, but anyways, it is a top sheet, it just like has shit in here. Okay, so yeah, top sheet three dollars, and then bottom sheet, which is like, I don't know if the set was supposed to be like this or if this was just in another fucking set or whatever, but it matches three dollars, so three dollars, three dollars plus two dollars is eight dollars for an entire sheet set is pretty fucking good if you ask me and the brand name for this is lady pepperell west point pepperell west point georgia made in usa so because it's made in the usa i do think that it is actually vintage but if it is i don't think it's ever been used because it feels like super starch it doesn't feel like it's been washed before and sometimes you do luck out finding new old stock okay so the second thing that i found at hope for children is not that exciting but i really like it it's like this pyrex jug as i was saying earlier my man has to get up at like 4 a.m for work so i always make him coffee so he doesn't have to do that in the morning this is for only cold things but he only drinks cold brew coffee anyway so i'll just like make it in bulk and then put it in here this was two dollars and fifty cents third thing i got a hope for children which is one of the fifteen dollar items <gasps> mid-century wall hanging yeah so if you aren't aware in the 70s they had a lot of these like hook and lat rugs like you would buy them in a box and then you would hook them yourselves but a lot of them are like, super fucking kitschy and i like that this one was a little bit more streamlined this was fifteen dollars so this was one of my splurges not quite sure yet where I'm gonna put that, but I will update you. So that's everything I got for at Hope for Children. Next stop, we went to Value Village. So I only got two things there. Well, technically four things, but really two things, which was the wallpaper that I showed you guys. I just, so these were $15 for all three of them. And there's like a fuck ton of wallpaper on here. I do live in a rental building, as I said, so I can put a peel and stick wallpaper. I can't put like actual wallpaper. But again, this print is like super kind of kitschy, which I'm trying to get away from. But then when I think about eventually, like we want to have our own house, the dream is to have an untouched mid-century 1960s time capsule home. The late 60s, like bro, I want a conversation pit. I want like big brick fireplace, wood paneling, big open windows. So, but I do think we want to have babies and I'm like, this would be really cute in a vintage nursery. And also earlier this year, I thrifted a vintage high chair. I just became an auntie recently. So I'm like, okay, cool. When my fucking little homeboy comes over, he can sit in that. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I just, I could not, could it not buy, not buy it. Cause it's like so rare that you find old shit that's like new, you know? And also wallpaper's fucking expensive. Just like, I know my old apartment, bro, I spent so much money on wallpaper. Like it's unheard of to get this much for $15. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy it. It'd be cute in like a powder room or in a nursery years down the line when we own our own place or I could resell it. But I don't know, man, I 
couldn't not buy it, so I bought it. And then yeah, I hummed and hawed about a lot of stuff at Value Village. Didn't really get much, but I did get this food scale. We are gym people, we weigh most of our food. We do have an electronic scale. Sometimes it runs out of batteries and they're those really fucking annoying flat ones that you have to order your way to buy. And also sometimes we're like both preparing food at the same time. And it is nice because it does have a like manual tear option. So if you like put a bowl on it or you're like adding multiple things into a container, you can adjust it. But yeah, I also just thought it was really cute. And because we live in a newer apartment, our kitchen looks so modern, which is fucking sweat, bitch, which is like, not ideal so i like having old things in there to kind of tie in the rest of the house and this was 3.99 bitch so that's everything i got at value village next stop was bible's permission which as i was saying i feel like i manifested shit at the beginning of this video because i did find some brutalist wall art and these were two dollars each that being said so those ones that i showed you earlier in the video the floral ones those actually belong to my grandparents and they has, still have the receipt for them because they both passed away. So anyways, that's why they're in my house now. But they bought them in Gastown, which is like a part of downtown Vancouver, if you're not from here, from a local artist in 1978. And so those ones are just like a lot better quality, heavy duty. So these ones, I don't, they don't have a signature on them. So I don't think they're from an actual artist. They, I think they might've just been mass produced and sold at the department store back in the day because I do have some floral ones in my bathroom that they're similar, super flimsy like this. But they're still very cute and it was only $4 for both of them. Not sure where I'm gonna put them yet. We do have a lot of hanging space in the house just because it's been taking me a while to find the kind of art that I want. But these are cute and I will put them somewhere. I will update you when I figure out where I'm gonna put them. So that's all I got there. Last stop was Penny Pincher. I only got two things here. One of them is this super cute fucking trivet, which if you don't know, is a, you take something hot out of the oven or off the stove and then you can put it on that to like serve it on. I love when it still has all of the label and stuff. This says St. Michael, melamine covered casserole disc. It says made in the UK. But I think it was made to be sold in Canada because it has French and English. So yeah, that was $1.50. Love that. And then the last thing I got was this little candy jar, which I love this kind of blown glass. This isn't blown glass, but it kind of has the color ombre of like a blown glass. We have like a mint dish that we always have with scotch mints on our bar cart. And people get so excited when they come over and we have mints. I know like my grandparents always had scotch mints and I loved it. And I'm like, why do people stop fucking doing that? Come over, I'm like, oh, you want a mint on your way out? They're like, everyone's like, fuck yeah, that's so dope. And then they're like, can I have a couple more? So anyways, this seems like the perfect candy dish. So I think I might find another kind of candy to put in here. Recently we were at a hookah lounge and they gave us these like coffee mints that I couldn't eat because they had dairy in them, but my man ate them and he was like, holy fuck, these are delicious. So I'm like, well, maybe I'll find those candies for him and then he can have those and he feels like a little sweet treat. So yes, fuck, I'm so hot. So that's everything I got today. In total, I spent about $60, which normally I feel like I don't really spend more than $45, but when you find good shit, you kind of just gotta fucking get it, you know? There were some honorable mentions. Sometimes I just like can't decide on what I wanna buy and then I see things and I'm like, mm, I don't know. So then I take a picture for it later. So we're gonna go through the honorable mentions. So the first thing I saw that I was like, mm, I saw this lamp at Hope for Children and like the lamp itself, I'm like, damn, that looks kinda crazy, but also not telling my vibe, but it might look cool lit up. But what I was really looking for was the lampshade. I love the lampshade. I don't know if you've ever tried to buy a lampshade recently, but you like cannot buy a lampshade for under $50, like new, like that's fucking crazy. So sometimes I'll buy lamps just for the lampshades and then like redonate the base. But this was 20 bucks and I was like, mm, 20 bucks can, seems like a little bit steep. So I didn't get it, but I'm pondering it. Ah, I went to Talese. I pretty much never find anything at Talese. I did find this laundry basket, laundry hamper though, which is so fucking cute, but it was like really stained. And also, I just really didn't want to carry it, <laughs> but mostly it was stained. If it wasn't stained and it was like grain or orange, I would have been like, 
or even yellow. I've been like, fuck yeah, bitch, is coming home with me. But I left it at the store. I don't think I looked at how much it cost, but I can't imagine it being more than ten dollars. Bro, and I found fucking spurs. I've always wanted spurs. I don't even have cowboy boots now, but I feel like spurs would be sick. And also, like, I would want more of like a goth queen type spur versus like this kind of spur. And also, I couldn't see how much they cost. And also, I was carrying that heavy ass bag, and I just really didn't feel like talking to somebody who worked there. So I left them, but they're fucking cool. And then this is the NCM, which if you don't know, that stands for mid-century modern. It's just easier to say. That was NCM blown glass. And I love this era of blown glass. I do have like a couple things, but not an ashtray. But then also I'm like, do I even need an ashtray? I swear I have like 15 ashtrays because I always find such cool ones. I don't even smoke. I just started smoking weed recently, but not enough to have 15 ashtrays. But like, oh my God, it's so pretty. But it's also $69. And I'm like, I can't justify spending $69 at a thrift store, even though You'll see those at an antique store for like $200. I just can't justify it. And then also, this wasn't something that I considered purchasing, but I just recently I've been seeing so many original packaging and original instructions from old stuff from the 60s. Like I saw a fully beautiful, pristine slide projector box with the slide and everything in it the other week. And I was like, oh man, that's so cool. And then I saw today it was like an empty case for a sewing machine but a really cool case I and mean, then it has like the original instruction book and this definitely looks like early 60s or some shit like bruh so cute don't need it but i fucking love fine shit like that so anyways this is my thrift haul for the day for the week usually i go out every week because it makes me happy and i'm trying to prioritize things that make me happy if i choose a favorite item of the day I think it has to be the wallpaper, even though I'm not going to use it. It's just so fucking cool that it's like brand new, but like how many, like 50 years old. That's fucking crazy. I love, this is why I love thrifting. I love the history. It's just so cool. Anyways, I will be back soon with another thrift haul. I do plan on making a lot of like homemaker type vibes here on this channel because that's just the stuff that brings me joy. I love decorating, I love cooking, I love making cocktails. I just love making a house feel like a home and doing homey things in my house. So anyways, yes. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. I'll be back before you know it with more thrifting because I have a problem. Anyways, I love you guys. Bye.